So I think I need to create like a five year plan, like a five to 10 year plan or something like that. I just watched um, this video by Elon Musk, which came out only three days ago, where he's talking about how in 2022, he is planning on sending a rocket, actually two rockets to Mars. And then in 2024, he's planning on sending four, two of them, which will be crewed rockets. So potentially 200 people going to Mars in the next seven years. Five years sending two rockets to Mars. Seven years sending people to Mars. It's crazy. But it just made me think, usually I have like a three to five year plan. Usually I have a plan of what I'm going to achieve. Um, but at the moment, I don't have that plan. I don't have a plan of, okay, so I'm pursuing this thing, I'm, I'm pursuing Melee. I really enjoy it, I'm having lots of fun. Okay, that's great. What is the plan in the future? What's the, what's the three year goal? What's the five year goal? What's the 10 year plan in terms of what am I going to do with this? So I talked in a previous episode, just a couple of episodes ago about how I considered changing my pursuit for melee towards pursuing business again but then decided against it because pursuing melee it's something that I enjoy but I also see career benefits down the track and I see it taking my career in new directions down the track I see myself being happy I see you know a great life for me and my family by pursuing something interesting rather than just pursuing something mundane which won't make me a best version of myself which won't make me the best version of myself for my family. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I haven't like really thought about it. I haven't created like a five or 10 year plan. I've just been reading up on it a bit here. I've been looking at like how much the top professional splash players make, looking at this article um, on Nintendo Life, talking about how smash players make hardly any money, which I know, trying to work out you know, how team sponsorships work and stuff like that. I've kind of discovered that most players are like a part of a team. A team will pay for their flights and attendance and accommodation to major tournaments. Uh, depending on how good you are, like Hungrybox, they'll pay for coaches and they'll pay for managers and things like that. Uh, people who aren't as good, they're really just paying for them to go out to these tournaments and they might also pay them a monthly compensation so or monthly salary so that could range from like a hundred bucks a month to like two thousand bucks a month it obviously depends on the reach of the player how good the player is and but really the audience of the player and how much brands want to partner with that player and the teams want to have that player on their team so it's like massively varied where someone like Amada someone like Leffen someone like Mango who's part of the Cloud9 team they probably make really decent salary to be a part of the team whereas if you go lower down the list you know once as soon as you get past like the top 20 players in the world most of them aren't sponsored and if they are sponsored they're really small sponsors and their sponsors are probably just paying them measly monthly amounts and maybe just paying for them to go to local tournaments or paying for them to attend a couple of majors every single year so in terms of my goal of being one of the top 100 in the world, so top 100, um, really at the moment, it's only like the top 20 in the world that are getting sponsored. And so because I don't foresee myself becoming top 20 in the next five years, I don't want to count on being sponsored. Spud, who is top number one in Australia, he is sponsored, um, but... You know, I know he still has a job and has to work and stuff like that. So he's likely not making heaps of money from his sponsor, but they're likely paying for flights for him to go to like OHN and to go to BAM and to go to those national tournaments as well. <clears throat> so when I look at this plan and look at this three to five to 10 year plan, it's not going to be about getting sponsorships. It's not going to be about um, making money that way. It needs to have a different approach to it. Now, I run my own businesses, so I don't actually need to make money from Smash right this moment. Um, I've got a buffer where I earn income online, so I still I still have a job, I still work, and that's fine. I'm happy to continue doing that. Um, 
but I would like to have an idea of where this is all going and where I expect it to be in five years. Let's say I make it into the top 100. Do I keep going? Do I try and get better? Or will I give up at that time and will I use this experience in some other form, some other business, or maybe I'll pursue psychology or something like that? I don't know. But at the moment, like I have that goal, I have a five-year goal, um, but I don't, apart from the, like, the goal of like being top 100 in, in the world, I don't have any like plan or any goals like around that of like how to profit from this venture, uh, how to continue to support my family through this venture, how to make sure that I still have time with my family. Um, basically, I need to think about the things that are important I need to talk to my wife and talk to her about the things that are important for us into our future moving forward in the next five to ten years as the kids get older and, um, you know, I guess work out how everything fits together and have a rough idea of how I can make money through this because it's not because I, I really want to make money through it, like I don't need the money, but the money is just like such a good justification to work on it and to continue to work on it. So money and career opportunities are going to play an important role because if I'm sacrificing time with my family or time working on my business to pursue this, then it kind of needs to have an, another goal other than just being really fun for me. So yeah, that's just something that I'm thinking about at the moment. I don't have a five-year plan, but I feel like I need to get one.